Hello friends and viewers, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of the Healer. Today we're playing Star Wars The Old Republic on my scoundrel healer, Captain Crunch. And this is going to be a fun match. For those who haven't ever seen Hutball before, it's like a game of American football. There's one ball, two goal lines. One that if they get the ball across your line, it's a score. Same for them. First team to six wins, or whoever has the most score at the end wins, or in the event of a tie, whoever's in possession wins. So I just went ahead and went stealth. Gave everyone my uh, scoundrel buff, which gives them a 5% crit rate. And we've already got a Sith Marauder, actually. And they thought they could get away by leaping. Oh no, Sonny. You don't get away from us that easy. I'm even going to walk in the acid to get away from y'all but it doesn't matter they just intentionally grounded the ball and for some reason it's lagging really hard because it should have instantaneously returned to the pedestal do not get what's going on there but anyways I'm just dropping some uh, sl uh, slow release med packs on all of my teammates we're doing everything we can just to make sure they can't get it and Wook our vanguard got the ball so I'm gonna just go stay behind him and keep him healed up and I'm gonna try to get ahead just in case and crud I just totally missed a pass that sucks but at least I can keep him alive I just got my healer medal they are still after him, but I can't worry about him right now. We've got a couple of snipers that are really just wailing on our team. And their ball carrier, who is in our pit, and looks like they're about to score. So we need to see what we can do to stop them in their tracks. Oh no, this sniper. No, no, Sonny. You are not messing with my team. Okay, so we are having a hard up fight against this sniper. I do not like snipers on my scoundrel. They have a knockback, they can root you, they deal a ton of damage. They are a nightmare, but it's okay because I have two buddies and he just healed him. How did he heal himself? Well, it doesn't matter because he is about to die and their team scored the first point. This is not good. This early in the match, we've got to do something about it. Ten minutes remaining. So what we are going to do, I'm going to start casing this area, making sure it's uh, secure. They are doing something. Looks like Orbital Strike. Yeah, now here comes their team. Holy crap, all these little smashers are after me. Someone just knocked them into the... Okay, this is not going to end well for me. Oh, but our um, Sentinel has it. And that did not end well. He walked straight into the acid pool. That is not fun. But it doesn't matter because we met with a really fast respawn time. So we're going to go stop the other team from scoring again. And possibly score one of our own. Because that's what we need to do first. So it looks like our commandos are there totally beating on this guy almost knocked him into the pool of acid I'm actually going into a crouch so I can use more of the gunslinger style abilities instead because my normal scoundrel abilities are good but they just don't deal enough damage and I want to stay away from the fracas I am a healer after all and anything I can do to help out in the fight is probably much appreciated but going up against all those uh, Sith is not gonna help me one bit so I need to do whatever I can from the range so here we go. I'm gonna, okay, that didn't work out so well. Just had to reposition. But we're going to totally uh, tag that guy with our uh, damage over time. Detonation charge. We're going to keep on pounding away on him. And any of our allies who we can keep up, if possible, we will. Okay, it looks like we've got... We've got quite a fight going on here. These guys are turtling like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And if anyone remembers that cartoon, you'll agree. They are turtling just that hard. So I'm going to try to keep our shadow alive here. He's got a sprint. He's got all the tools needed to make sure we could totally run this ball if it came to it. But if only we just keep him alive. And yes, we finally took down their ball carrier. 
this is a step in the right direction. All right, now let's try to keep him alive. Oh crap, that didn't work out so well. At least I hit him with a few emergency med packs and quite a bit of healing. But we've got to stop this guy, otherwise this is all going to go south really fast. And it's a commando who has it. This isn't the best situation, but they are a heavy armor wearer. We can totally make this work. I'm going to keep the slow release med packs on this guy. He's totally going to make it if I have anything to do with it. I stopped him from doing his orbital strike. We are not going to have any of that silly business on this battlefield. Ooh, nice. And the commando just used her detonation charge to knock him off. That's great. That's perfect. And it looks like, oh yes, another nice little uh, knock away by the uh, shadow there. That's really good. And we have this other guy on the other side of the fire. These kind of stunts are not going to be allowed. We are totally going to do everything we can to kill him quickly. And, okay, the ball just changed possession twice. The Jedi Shadow has it. Come on, buddy, we can keep you alive. You're getting emergency med packs. You're getting heal probes. You're getting everything we can give at you. And, yeah, we just scored. This game just got a lot more interesting. We're back on even footing, and I have a sniper on my butt again. Again, dude, would you get off me? I'm I'm a breakfast cereal. I'm not a threat. Oh yeah, no snipe for you. I just used my vanishing act to totally get away. But it's all right because we are gonna stop that ball carrier from being a menace by going up and healing teammates and hitting them in the back with a shotgun. I mean, honestly, where does the smuggler hold that thing? Seriously. And they just knocked me away from the little uh gravity from the little uh, whirlpool generator whirlpool yeah this isn't in water although I guess it could be a whirlpool if you think about uh, air as a liquid eh, or fluid rather yeah whatever anyways I'm just gonna heal myself up here because that sniper was beating on me very good but not good enough so I'm gonna try to keep my buddy alive there and I just drew that um, Sith Marauder's attention oh, this is just great but he and I are going to have a little dual heal. I'm going to shoot him in the back. Oh no, and I've got a sniper after me. Emergency med, time to emergency med pack. And I'm going to have to outrun this guy. Yeah, that's right. In the world of healers versus damage dealers, I do what a good healer does and chicken crud out of this. That's right, I was gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him and almost did, and screw that plan. That's a stupid plan. I'm not going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, guy. You can keep your lightsabers. I'm just gonna sort of, you know, live and get this health power up and go right back into the fracas. Now, this has been a really chaotic episode, and that's because Hutball is a really chaotic PvP battleground. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do next... Since all of our normal things aren't working, I'm gonna try to get us a one-two lead. So I'm gonna so here's my evil plan. We see some of my teammates are over there on the top, right? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over here to the something just rooted me. This is great. Two marauders. Intentional grounding. Not intentional grounding. And I died, but it's okay because we have the ball all the way back in their pit, which is totally not where it needs to be for their team to be able to do anything useful with it. So even though I lost the ball like one could logically expect, it's still perfectly fine. It's not going to help them a whole lot. And to make that stick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and start trolling the ball carrier. That's right. I'm going to hit him with my leg shot to make sure... There we go. There you are. I'm going to hit you with that. A fun fact about uh, snares and slows is they do not contribute to your resolve. So you can slow someone all you want and it will not make them immune to further slows or stuns. So I'm just going to mess with this guy. I'm going to hit him back. There we go. Crunched him in the nuts right on the ball panel. And our shadow has the ball. This is perfect. We're going to keep this guy alive. That's right, buddy. Oh, you're going to jump him. Well, you just jumped the wrong person. Y'all should have jumped me. And you threw it to me. Why did you throw it to me? That was stupid. Oh, well. Not too stupid. I mean, I was there. And I 
I'm about to get... Yeah, that's right. They just got possession of the ball. But it's okay, because he had no one else available to throw to, and I guess healer was the logical choice. Uh, good effort, man. Good effort. But anyways, here, the new plan. We're getting short on time. We have three minutes left in this match, and there is a way we can win. If teams are tied in score, the last person to be possessing wins automatically. So my plan is this. What we're going to start by doing is we're going to go ahead and mess with their ball carrier, do everything we can to get possession of the ball. After that, we're going to go to a easily defensible location and turtle like nuts. So I'm going to try to keep Wook here alive. He's having a really hard time of it. And I wish him luck with that because he got knocked out of my line of sight. That's right, we're doing everything we can. We just dropped a flash grenade in front of these guys. We are trolling them like crazy, doing everything we can to keep them on ice. Yes, and we got control of the ball. So, okay. I'm going to tell my teammates here, or politely ask, turtle like mad. That's right, if they can do this. Oh no, their rotworms got the ball again. That is not good, but they just took the whirlpool, the whirlpool generator up to their ramparts. Okay, buddy, you are in trouble now. Captain Crunch is on you like milk on cereal. And we are tanking that guy like a pro, but it's okay. We've got a major battle raging here, that marauder. Okay, so here we go. Giving myself healing probes going for line of sight, everything I can. I'm going to tell my team pretty quickly here. Cover me. Yeah, there we go. Cover me. That's right, team. We've got to do everything we can. All right, giving myself some medical probes, heading straight, well, sort of straight for that medical pickup we got earlier. There we go. Fully restored hit points. And now we're going to turtle, and by turtling I mean keeping my, all my allies alive, all my allies cover me, kicking dudes in the nuts, hitting them with the back of my gun, healing myself some more, everything you would, you would link to just really oppressively defensive gameplay. And ooh cool, we just took out a Sith Marauder. Okay, oh no, not a sniper. Okay, here we go. Going underneath the sniper. I'm not letting him hammer on me. I've had enough of that BS. I'm gonna heal the healers. And those Sith are on me again, go figure, because it's what they do, how they roll, and it's an operative this time. There we go. We've officially won the match. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm totally going to give... Who am I going to give the medal? The troopers did good. I'm going to give Wook the medal. Hats off to him for some great tanking and some great fighting on his part. Thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, see you later, viewers.